I definitely just used this water to soak my beauty blender and then accidentally drank it. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so it is Saturday. Just chilling with a sports bra. Sometimes I feel like if I put the sports bra on, then I'll work out. You never really know. I just did my makeup, obviously. Still working on the hair. On my face today, I mixed something that I've never mixed before and I haven't worn in like years. I probably shouldn't have put this on my face. But this is the Leo Ellie BB Cream mixed in with my favorite Manic Panic Dream Tone to lighten it up because it is pretty dark and I freaking love it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it gives such good coverage. This does not seem like a BB cream to me. It's pretty much like a full coverage foundation and it gives you a super nice dewy-ish finish and I'm just loving it. What are you doing here? To highlight, I also use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, which I haven't used in, again, like years. I actually just ordered the Light Scapade shade off of Glambot. It was like $10 off. I think I literally buy makeup on there every other day. They just have insane sales. I think I'm going to be doing a shadow and schmooze slash haul with some of the products I ordered from there. I don't know if that'll be up before this. It might. I'll link it over here if it is. I think today I'm going to go to Old Navy because they're having like a 40% off activewear haul and I've actually been kind of working out lately. I know, weird. I've been doing Jillian Michaels like every night. And I just feel really good. Feels good to work out sometimes. So I think I'm going to try and find some more workout clothes because I literally have two pairs of pants because I used to work out like twice a year. Bring you guys along. This is my new baby. I ordered the Sony NX5T and I've heard really good things about this. I'm basically completely fed up with my Canon T5i. I'm going to be selling it. It's just, I don't think it's the right camera for me. I want something that completely auto focuses. This one is super lightweight. It has a DSLR lens, which is really awesome. You can switch out the lenses. You can also get different adapters for it. I'll link this camera down below if you want to check it out, but I got it off of Amazon and it was really reasonable. It was around $350. I wanted to try this one out and I'm hoping that I'll like it better. I know that the T5i, a lot of people love it. I think my issue is my lens and I'm just not at a point where I want to invest $600 in an STM lens. I just don't want to deal with the mic and buying a new lens and everything. I just want a simple camera that's good quality that can focus on something when I hold it up to the freaking lens. This is exciting. Okay, we're ready to roll. On the lips, I mixed the e.l.f. matte lip color in natural with ColourPop Skimpy. This is a glossy one. This one's obviously matte. If you have dry lips, you'll probably love these ColourPop ones. It makes your lips look so smooth and glossy. Why is that so hard to get out? Not wearing anything super exciting. Story of my life. But my necklace is from uh, Roxbox and it just says shine on it. Should I show you what I have in my Roxbox right now? I mentioned Roxbox a while back. I think I did an unboxing video. I still use it and it's honestly one of my favorite boxes. I think I have a code where you can get your first box either half off or free. I think it might be half off. I'll link it down below. I think it's just Taylor XOXO. I send you three pieces. You can exchange as many as you want per month. This is the first necklace I got. I actually wore this the other day, which is like a gray shirt, and it looked really cool. It's just super neon. It's not even showing up on camera. And then I have this bangle, which I also really like, and it's actually small enough for my wrist because you can bend it. The third one in the box this month I wasn't super huge fan of, and I'm going to take it out because I only have one hand, but it's like this long gold, and it has these little like black gems. It's just not really my style. I'm not going to show you this because it has my address on it, but they basically give you a prepaid return label. So you literally just pop it on there, put all your jewelry in the envelope, and you send it back. Exchange it however many times you want per month. All right, so it's been about four hours, and that was a little unexpected, complete shopping trip. I actually got a shit ton of stuff, so I'll probably show you guys like a mini haul when I get home. I got Wetzel's and it's bomb. It is freaking hot out right now, so I'm just chilling in my car with the AC on, eating my pretzel. Definitely just spilled half the bag all over the back seat of my car. Fun times. I really like the way this foundation looks. I don't know why the car lighting always makes your face look like 10 shades darker than your neck. All the dressing room lightings and stuff, but it looks really nice. The finish was just perfect. Why is it shaking right now? The car is not even moving. Seattle traffic. I'm back. I think I'm gonna clean my car. We don't even want to know how long it's been since I cleaned my car. We got a vacuum. I think we're gonna do this. All right, this is a super uneventful vlog. I've literally just been cleaning my car, cleaning the house, cleaning the kitchen. But now I'm gonna edit and paint my nails. I think I'm gonna use Essie's Bard in Blue. I went to Bartels to pick up a prescription, and while I was there, I got the 3D gel shine top coat, whatever this is called, by Sally Hansen. Nicole Guerrero made me do it. 
I'm gonna try this with the Ciate, Ciate, whatever top coat because this is super fast drying and Nicole said that that one just won't dry so you have to put a fast drying one over it. So I'm gonna try these two together. I actually really like this top coat. It makes your nails super shiny. I'm gonna show you guys a quick haul. I'm not gonna actually film a haul haul for this. So I guess we'll just show you right now. This feels strange. I think my head's cut off, but you don't really need to see it. I got mostly like unexciting workout clothes, neon green sports bra for Nordstrom Rack. I'm going to this like event thing for my friend's birthday next weekend. So I ended up getting a dress to wear, a high neck thing, and then it slouches at the waist. Really exciting socks. These are actually the kids ones because I feel like they fit me better. I just got three uh, packs of Puma socks. Then I got this DKNY, their Apple perfume, a rollerball. I have their normal one and you can kind of tell it's like almost out. This is definitely like my going out perfume. So I got the rollerball to put in my purse. So Old Navy was 40% off all of their workout clothes and they also had a $15 off $50 purchase which I used. A pre yoga pants heathered kind of thing going on. I like it because they have the thick band and they're super comfy and these were, oh, I have the receipt I think. These were $12.60. They had a couple different colors of this shirt I got all of them. Ugh, shopping addict. I like this because it is super flowy. I hate working out in tops that are like super tight against your stomach. I feel like you could just wear it with yogas while you're like chilling too. So I got two of these. I also got the mint green and gray one. I got this top which you could also wear just like chilling with sweats. It looks kind of ugly on just like looking at it but it actually fits really cute. I really like this one because it was short sleeve. If you just want something that covers like your back or arms or whatever while you're working out. This was super soft too. The rest of the stuff isn't working out. It's just like random stuff I got. Well, Navy has really great basic camis and stuff. And I really liked these because they're kind of the ones that like suck everything in. I wanted to get new camis for wearing underneath things. So I got a white and a black one. And both of these were on sale for $8, I believe. $6.95. I should have got more of these, dang it. And then I got a black shirt. Surprise, surprise. A high neck top it has like a slit back. So I just thought that would be cute with like jeans and booties or something. The last thing I got, which I totally didn't need, are these like lounge pants. I just thought they were really cute. They're black and white striped and they have like the cinched ankle, which I need because I'm short. So if not, I'm like walking on my pants. So I don't even know if this vlog is like long enough to put up, but I'm really not doing anything else exciting tonight. I'm gonna take off my makeup, work out, cook dinner and edit. I think we're gonna call it a wrap. Oh fuck, I have to get my leopard robe. This is gonna be an issue when it like legit gets hot out. If you guys like this video and you want more leopard robe vlogs, give it a thumbs up so I know. Uh, yeah, I hope you found this more exciting than I do. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.